I am super excited to be able to tell you that I figured it out. I got um, the Hobby King connected to the, it's not a computer, it's just the wires on top of the battery that run to each of the cells in a way that will show me the voltages of each cell in the battery. Now, the bigger chunks of batteries, the 48 volt ones, of course, are made up of 12 separate cells. So this Hobby King battery medic is only set up to measure six, so I had to use two of them. Um, and I'm going to show you how to wire these into the factory harness here. Um, I'll try to make a nicer chart at the end that just shows which wires to use. It's not, I guess, all that important that you know uh, how I did it, although I'll try to show you that. And then at the end, I have a uh, surprise. I have a better, even better solution than this. So let's just take a little closer look at how to wire these. Okay, so um, these plug into the, the seven pin plugs there. Um, and because there's 12 cells in here, you have to use two of these. Now you could use just a single battery medic and plug it into that and you can check it shows total pack voltage and then the cells and you say oh, okay everything looks good there and then just plug in your other one and get the other half it shows you the total voltage and the cells um, I'm I have well I I have three of them now um, you can buy as many of them as you want, I guess. But I have, a, again, better solution. So um, I'll get a close-up of the wiring, and I guess I'll try to put together a little chart. Okay, so so this is the the end that would plug into the, the box on top of the battery. Um, and you can see, here's, here's the, the diagram of that part here. And the one way over here in the corner is brown. Um, and that's pin number nine, and that corresponds with pin number nine, which is here. And there's a, there's a nine here that you can't read because it's super small. So that actually nine, if you look at the chart over here, uh, nine on the the that end corresponds with the eight on the plug that's going into the battery. So and the eight on the plug that goes into the battery corresponds with like the last positive cell or maybe the first positive cell I guess the depending on here's the eight depending on so this is the brown at any rate this is the brown and brown ends up being oops, no, I have two battery medics brown ends up being the first wire am I still in the view here yeah so here's the brown right here and that ends up being on my seven pin thing here that's the very first wire over here and so then it, it really just kind of skips down the line from there so we start with the brown and brown is going to go in you know on these on this six seven pin deal it's you know the wires are color coded one way I don't know that they're all that way but so the brown is going to go into the black one and then the the next pin is red and that gets our um, color is that I can't even tell it looks green brown and if we go back to our chart green brown should be number seven oh, it's just green so it's this number 17 okay so uh, then it's it's similar wiring for the third this is this little chunk is uh, 24 volt and there's only six cells so I'll show you the wiring diagram for that as well um, similar concept except that you only need one battery medic to mount it to the whole thing Okay, so now that you like special surprise, this these things work work pretty well for determining the voltage in each cell. This is what I wanted to do. I think technically um, I can balance the out of balance cells by using the discharge or balance feature of each one. I don't want to try that right now until I have a way to charge this battery pack back up. The last thing I want to do is discharge it and have it run away from me and not 
be able to charge it up again. And so I'm going to wait until I have um, it hooked up to my solar controller before I start playing with that. This exercise was merely to a BMS and battery monitoring system. And now you can hook one of these up, except you're going to need uh, two for each large chunk, and there's five of those, and then one for each of those other ones. So you're talking 10, 12 of these things if you wanted to have it connected all the time and have them on it on a wall so you could look at them all at one time. Um, the other thing, the other thing you could do. Um, is just move them along and check the whole pack whenever you wanted. And I would probably leave, uh, like, you know, have one for the single cell one and one for the dual cell, and then just unplug. You can unplug this from here, and then you can plug it in. Here, let me move this over. Plug it in down here, and you'll get a reading for this, this other chunk. Um, again, very consistent. Then I can just move it on down the battery pack and plug it in to this one here. There's a better way to do that, I'm sure. And and check them all that way. I'm a little cons I'd be a little concerned about about um, unplugging it from here and moving along each time and just plug, unplug, plug, unplug. I don't know how many times you're going to be able to pull these wires out because there's no way to really, you could do it gently. I, I'd be afraid that you'd pull these wires out eventually. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't. It would be fine. But I think I have an even better okay. solution. So whereas the battery medic is about, I don't know, maybe it's like 16, 18 bucks shipped to you, um, they get expensive if you have to buy um, 12 of them or whatever. Um, this hobbyking.com sells another product which has absolutely no documentation and it looks like this. And I think it was less than two dollars. Okay, so if you plug this in to the same pin, it's going to do this. I don't know what that stands for. But here's the whole pack voltage. Number one cell, 3.88. Number two cell, 3.86. Number three, 3.91. Number four, 3.88. Number five, 3.89. Number six, 3.89. And then it'll cycle back, tell your whole packet voltage. And I think these, obviously, are so cheap. Um, you could get one for every one of the um, six chunks of, of battery cells. And I think you could probably leave it in all the time. This. This battery medic, this one especially, for whatever reason, seems to get a little warm. So I don't know how much power draw this is. My guess is that on a giant pack like this, it would be you know, almost not measurable. So I would be, and I think I am going to get um, you know, uh, enough of these, 12 of them, I guess, to cover each one of those things and then figure out a way to mount these all together so you can see them real quick. Um, and I think this would probably be all you'd really need. So that's kind of my recommendation. Okay, that's all I got right now. Um, I welcome your suggestions and constructive criticisms if you have any. Um, I'll post a better graphic with all the wiring connections so that you can do this yourself and then we can all kind of learn on this together. Good all luck. right, so here's the connector. Here's a little diagram I drew. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I went um, right to left, but I did. Um, so black, red, white, yellow, orange, green, blue. And you see that corresponds with this. And then I will show you where these hook into this connector here. And I, it's hard to lay these out so you can even see. Um, so I'll draw a picture. All right, this is the best you're going to get from me right now. Um, I showed you what this is right here. That's that's this in this configuration from black to blue. This is this first in the 12 chunk ch pins. It's this, it's looking at the pin from above, like up here. And you see there's wires just on the end, and then there's three holes, and then it goes into this other thing. And uh, this thing goes from pin number one on this side at the top. 
it's really hard to it's one on the top and then there's nine and then there's ten and it goes to eighteen and if you look really closely there there are numbers on the back of the thing you can't see it here so I guess the thing you want to focus on is where each of these wires go and this is how you wire that up so when I say one black it's one and it's black coming out of here and it's gonna to go to number eight which will be this is nine so this is eight and eight is I believe green and purple and it's kinda of hard to tell so, and then number two which is red is gonna to go to seventeen which is down here and that one is white and blue and then we're, so you, you're gonna start these are the temperature leads right here and so this is the this is the first one black this is the second one red and there's nothing here so you're gonna jump over here um, so the white is gonna be connected to that and white is four one two three four and that one is brown and white and then we're going to go down here and there and there and there and there. So that's where all those pins go for the 24 volt um, pack. Now let me do one for the uh, 48 volt pack. Ugh. Okay, so I can hardly even read anymore now. I'm just kind of wiped out by figuring these all out. So this is, there's again, for the pack, you're going to need uh, for one for the first six and one for the second six separate. Uh, seven pin um, that all Connectors. goes that all goes into the uh, harness that goes into the battery and if we look at it this way from sort of the top that's what that is there's a little number right on the corner here that you won't be able to see but up here it says one right there right there and then it says 9 over here, and then it says 10 down here, and it says 18 over here. So that's represented by this thing right here. These two wires on the end, which would be pin 9 and 18, they're brown and white, and black and blue. They're temperature sensors, and one of you guys can figure out, because you can get an ohm reading off of that, so I'm sure you can tie that into some sort of temperature sensor in something. Um, anyways, for the, your first six, cells one to six, this is the wiring diagram that I came up with. So again, we've got black, red, white, yellow, orange, green. That represents this right here. And I'm just gonna show you that the number one black is going to go to eight, which is right here. So these are temperature sensors. First one black goes to here. Second one red goes to 17. Third one white goes to seven. The fourth one yellow goes to 16. And we're just going to go on like this. So here is yellow, orange to, si to blue. Green to number 15, yellow, brown, seven, blue, goes to five, which is this middle one. Now that one's special because then that's shared with the second set over here, cell seven. And then on that one, you're gonna connect your black wire. He's gonna be, I connected it into the blue wire because I didn't have enough room down here, but, 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 but the black wire is the first wire on the second set which is connected to the last wire on the first set so that black one's going to go to number five which is green the second red is going to go to 13 which so we're going to jump over here 10 I'll write that in 10 11 12 13 1 2 3 and then I don't think there's anything uh, residing right there in uh, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, there's nothing in 14 and there's nothing in these first two but um, black to 5 and then next one red 
to 13. So we're just going this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and you're done. So here's the chart. I got screwed up here. Um, so it's 5, 4, 3, 2, and it's, you know, 15, and there's nothing in 14, and then we've got 13, 12, 11. There you go.